Today is day 14 of Inktober. We're almost halfway through, and today's theme is clock. And we're going to go ahead and get started on this one in 5, 4, It's day 14 of Inktober, and the word today is clock. There's a little preview of what I did yesterday. The word was guardian, so I drew a gargoyle protecting the castle. Anyways, on this piece, I was kind of conflicted about what I should draw. Honestly, in the beginning, I was thinking maybe draw the beauty and the beast, you know, clock, getting punched by the clock from fairy tale, so that way it'd be a clock, clocking clock, but... I didn't have time for that. You know, I had to work all day. So I was pretty tired when I got started on this piece. But the quality was maintained. And that I am proud of. So instead, the approach that I decided to go with this one, it was to draw Father Time with the clock in the background. I just thought that was a pretty cool approach. And honestly, it was referred to me by a friend of mine at work. Now, I don't know if he's cool with me saying his name on here, so I'm not going to. Anyway... When drawing Father Time, I tried going for a short face, like a short and stubby guy, rather than the tall, slender look that a lot of people portray. And, uh, obviously, Father Time has to have his beard. So, I definitely included that. I did not do the mustache, though. The mustache-beard combo. I decided it'd be better just to give him a large nose rather than include a mustache. Uh, I believe the eyes on this piece came out really great. I really feel like the hourglass probably could have been a little bit better, but I liked the way it came out in the end anyway. When it came to uh, some of them clocks I put in the background, honestly, today's been a long day, so I was really tired, so I didn't actually use them all. I actually only used the one biggest one in the end, but that's okay, because at least I got it done and I got a video up. <laughs> Now, with most of, my, most of my shading on here, as usual, I've been using uh, hatching to do my shading. Except on the bottom of the hourglass, I did some cross hatching, and it really suited it pretty well. With the eyebrows, I decided to give, give him pretty monstrous eyebrows. As you can see, they're almost the size of his eyes themselves. I tried making the background look like he was wearing some kind of cloak or a hood. As you can see, I'm pausing here because I was trying to figure out how to get the shading done just right on the hair. I was having a little bit of trouble deciding on the approach to that. And when it came to the hand, I was having a hard time too. But honestly, with the hand, I just worried too much and it came out great. And honestly, I'm pretty satisfied with this overall piece. There are a few things that I would change if I could go back and do it. But as you know as well as I do, that ink is pretty solid and pretty hard to change. So what we got is what we got, and I hope you all like it. And as we are approaching the end of this video, I would like to point out that the coupon code is still active on my website for 35% off when you use the coupon code septic eye. But anyways, besides that, here's a better look at this picture. If you like it, please leave a like and comment below for a chance at a free piece of artwork at the end of the month. I'll be giving away 10 pieces to 10 different people. And they get to choose what pieces they get from my website. Now if you haven't seen them yet, I've got a video here where I drew Jack Septicaya Spider-Man. And I've got a link to my Inktober playlist for this year right here. So you all can check those out. And anyways, until next time, this has been As Seen by Austin.